Hey guys, Ed here, and I was going to do the video that I was talking about last week where I show you the stragglers from my video game pickup videos along with some toys and board games that I picked up over the last several months. But when I started getting everything together, I realized I had a lot more video game stuff than I realized left over. Enough, in fact, to do their own pickup video. So I can still do the toys and the board games from the last several months in another video. Probably won't do the PC stuff, though, because... When I was putting them together, I was actually building multiple PCs at once. In the first instance, I was building one for myself, one for my brother, and one for my friend Eldon. And then the next time, I was building two for myself and one for my nephew. So it was just too much trouble to bring cameras out to film it when I was trying to explain to you know two other people or one other person and then build my own. So whatever. It, it wouldn't be any fun because I would just be showing you the boxes of stuff that I have. So now I'm going to do video game pickup extra stuff video whatever you want to call it and I'm going to start off with controllers first thing I'm going to show you is this thing sitting over here because well it's over here by itself it is another menacer now I've been looking for one of these for years for a reasonable price so to find two of them in the course of a couple of months is kind of frustrating uh, I found the the one in the box over there really cheap and then this one I came across for five dollars I think and yeah I couldn't leave it sitting there like I said Never seen one for a reasonable price, so seeing the second one, even though it is my second one, had to get it. And besides which, I'll probably give it to somebody that would really like to have it. At least that's what I was telling myself at the time. And we're just going to keep with the theme of controllers, and I got another Thrustmaster joystick. Now, I almost have the complete collection of the Thrustmaster joysticks, or at least... I don't know, what would it be? The evolution of the joystick I have about everyone. The one that I think I'm missing, or the only one I think I'm missing, my little brother owns it, so i got to talk that one out of him somehow. So, Thrustmaster joystick, and uh, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like two bucks complete at uh, Volunteers of America Thrift Store in Streetsboro. <clears throat> Another PC controller here. This, I thought, was a Super Nintendo controller, and then I realized that it's not a real Super Nintendo controller. In fact, it is for a PC. This was actually brand new in the packaging when I got it, and it was $2. I think you can get them for like 3 bucks on eBay now, anyway. Uh, next, I'll show you this thing here. This is a Controller Pro U from Interworks Unlimited, and what this is, is essentially is a Wii remote controller a Wiimote yeah that's what we'll call it uh, it actually works like a Wiimote as well because you've got the infrared here and you can use it to control the thing on the screen or you can use it as a classic controller or really this will work on any game that uses the Wiimote so on those games that only use the remote you now can use a pro controller like this this one is the one I chose because it looks kind of like the Super Nintendo controller is inset in there. I thought it was neat, although they do have other colors. It is, it feels anyway, really well made. The analog sticks feel great. The D-pad feels great. Uh, the buttons all feel good, and this thing is really cool because I don't care for the Wii mode on a lot of games. So being able to use this on the few that I do like to play is kind of cool and that was an awful lot of words to explain a relatively simple concept I think you get the idea I like it um, <clears throat> I got this thing here and I apologize I keep clearing my throat but allergies are killing me today an NES Advantage uh, $2.99 and it's kinda cool to have two of them normally you play two player with just one stick passing it back and forth but in the two player co-op games only one person could use it now I have two so two people can use the NES Advantage controller in co-op games. And I'm going to drop it on the floor here if I'm not careful. There we go. And finally, I have the Super Advantage for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this was $4.99, and it is complete. And actually, when I opened it up, the, uh, the controller itself was wrapped in the plastic, and it is pristine. I don't know that this has ever been used. Uh, I didn't clean the sticker residue off here yet, but... Uh, originally it was thirty nine ninety seven, and there were actually three clearance stickers on here. I think the last price for it was nineteen ninety nine. So I got this for yeah four ninety nine. It's pretty decent discount, I think. Don't want to drop it. And then there's this here. I got this at a Salvation Army thrift store that I never, literally, have never found anything in. So when I saw it sitting there for ninety nine cents, 
I absolutely had to get it. Not just because I wanted it, but because I had never seen anything there before. And what this is, is a PlayStation game case here. Uh, console, whatever you want to call it. And this has actually inspired me. I've been wanting to pare down my PlayStation collection for a long time because I feel no nostalgia for that at all. I really didn't own a PlayStation. I had never played one until a few years ago. Uh, I was actually still playing my Genesis when that system came out, and I played it all the way up through until I started playing on the Dreamcast. So I really don't care that much about it. There are some really good games for the system, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the vast majority of my collection, and with the exception of long boxes, I only want to have enough games to fill this console and get rid of everything else. So that is my goal now with the PlayStation. I also have this thing here. Those of you that like me on Facebook will have seen this when I picked it up. It is the blue Game Gear. Uh, it is going to need a few of the uh, capacitors replaced in it. It works, it's just the screen is not particularly bright. And it came with Super Battle Tank in it. Now, where this story gets interesting is I went back uh, over a month later, it's probably a month and a half later, and the same girl was working at the uh, pawn shop where I picked this up. And she said, hey, you bought that, that blue game gear off me, right? And I said, yeah. She said, well, you, you also were supposed to get this stuff, and I forgot to give it to you. It's this little bag here. And then it came with several games. I'll show you. What did we get here? VR Troopers. Sonic 2. NFL 95, uh, Garfield, Caught in the Act, Sonic Triple Trouble, Power Rangers, another copy of Sonic 2, T2, and finally, NBA Jam. Now, all of these are doubles for me, I think, except for... Power Rangers and VR Troopers, and Garfield caught in the act. I did not have those three. But still, really cool that you go into a pawn shop, and they tell you, hey, we forgot to give you this, especially considering I was perfectly happy to get the blue game gear for, I think it was $5 that I paid for. Um, oh, I forgot to show you this here. I also picked this up. Uh, this is a PS2 controller interface uh, to USB. It actually takes two PS2 controllers and converts them so that they can be used for USB. And I have this because on my main machine, I have run a USB port out to just below the control panel. I want to be able to play four-player games, and I thought this would be a good way to do that. Take two PS2 controllers and then plug them into the one USB port. Voila, four controller games can now be played using the control panel and two PS2 controllers. All right. This is a Sega Genesis game that I forgot to show you on my Sega Genesis pickup because, well, it fell down into my couch. Uh, John Madden Football 93. And this is a less common game. This is the limited edition, first round, individually numbered Madden 93. And it's not terribly expensive. It goes for around 15 bucks complete. Uh, it might be a little more, a little less now. It's been a while since I looked. But uh, there is one that's a little more uncommon than this, and that is the same year, Madden, I can't remember if it's Special Edition or Collector's Edition, but that one goes for between 35 and 40 bucks the last time I checked. So, until I find that one, this will be the one Madden game that I keep in my collection, just because. This game here, uh, this is one of the three games that I'm missing for the Master System collection. It is RC Grand Prix. So, when I found it on the Game Gear, I picked it up just so I could see what it's like. And I will admit, I do not remember where I got this or how much I paid for it, but I know it was locally. Uh, I just saw it and thought, well, i got to have that one, right? I was at a video game store in Mansfield, Ohio, and I picked up a game called The Cryon Conquest. And the best way to describe this, I think, would be The Lost Mega Man Game. Check out some gameplay footage of it, and you'll see what I mean. Also, same place, I picked up a copy of Final Fight, another copy of Final Fight, because it was $1.99. Um, it is damaged, and it's got some, or the label is slightly damaged right there, and it's got some nastiness on it I haven't cleaned off yet, but uh, for buck i I'll pick it up, and I'll give it, I have somebody in mind that I'm going to give this to. And I picked up a copy of 
Zen Intergalactic Ninja. I believe it was maybe... Somebody just recently mentioned this on a video. I don't remember who it was. Uh, it might have been Michael, Michael B. the Game Genie mentioned that he needed to complete his Konami collection. Well, I got it for the same reason. I wanted to complete my Konami collection. I haven't played it yet, but I think I have it on good authority that it's a worthwhile game to pick up. I found this at the Goodwill on 62 in Canton, just like this. Uh, it's a controller, all the cords, and a memory card, along with a PlayStation 1. And this was, surprisingly, marked at three dollars so of course I had to get this you guys know by now how I feel about very cheap consoles even though it's a PlayStation 1 and they're everywhere three bucks I'm not gonna leave it sit and that got me to thinking I wonder if this person turned any games in and sure enough there were a bunch of PlayStation 1 games there the only one that I picked up was Capcom's Pocket Fighter and uh, I picked this one up also for three dollars if it'll focus and of course it won't uh, I had a feeling that this one was less a, common, a less common game, and sure enough, when I got home and checked, it was. Finally here, I have a couple of PS1 games I got. They were $2, and they, well, you can't see that. They were $2, and they were 50% off, so I picked up Crash 2 and Soul Reaver. Uh, both doubles for me, but for a dollar, I wasn't going to leave them there. Uh, they'll probably end up being... Uh, yeah, trade-in bait for the exchange. So, those are all of the video game pickups that I forgot to show you in my previous few videos. There you go. That is everything I found. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys sometime soon. Like you guys were saying earlier, it's the the hit detection is so bad you have to walk into somebody before you can hit them, and then there's no satisfying like yeah, Winston, when you hit them, so you don't Zedmore. know that you're hitting them. No, there's, there's it does kind of look like Winston. Terrible. It is. That's Ernie Hudson. Yeah, that's a big Twinkie. Tell him about the Twinkie.